वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोज I am going to solve this problem for three. In this problem, we are given this loaded truss, and we are asked to find the forces in each member of this given truss. So first, I will find the reactions, right? So let's say uh, here we have a pin joint, so there will be two reactions. So let's say we one reaction is in this direction, and let's say this is our positive x, and this is our positive y direction. So let's say this is B x, and let's say that. here we have a reaction which is acting in this direction let's say this is by and similarly here we have a roller support so there will be only one reaction in this direction and let's say this is ax so now uh, to find the reaction we have to consider this whole truss right so for that we will apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so the summation of forces along y equals to 0 So as we can see that this B Y is acting in the positive Y direction, so I will write B Y, and this 3000 force is acting in the uh, negative Y direction, so we will write minus 3000 equals to zero. So this means that B Y reaction is equal to 3000 newton, and similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to zero, so as we can see that this A X is in acting in the positive x direction and this bx is also acting in the positive x direction so we will write that ax plus bx equals to 0 since there is no force in the x direction right if we consider this whole truss so then this will be equal to 0 so this means that ax is equal to minus bx so for that we have to apply the summation of moment at point a equals to 0 So now as we can see that this by is passing through this point a so this will not produce the moment about this point a oh, so this bx and this 3000 force will produce the moment about this point a so let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive so bx is producing the clockwise moment about this a so we can write that it is minus bx and the perpendicular distance of this bx from this point a is 2 meters so i will write 2 and similarly this 3000 newton force is producing the clockwise moment about this point a so we will write a minus 3000 and the perpendicular distance of this 3000 newton force from this point a is 4 meter so we will multiply this with 4 this will be equal to 0 and if we take this uh, to the other side of the equation so this will become positive so we can write that this will be and we can find bx So this will be three thousand divided by two. So this will be, and this will become negative, right? So this will p x will be six thousand, and this is negative newton, right? So this means that the the b x direction is in the other side, right? So we have to reverse this direction. So now here we can say that a x is equal to If we put this Vx minus six thousand, so this comes out to be six thousand newton, right? So now we know all the reactions. So Ax and Bx are equal, right? The actual Bx is in this direction, right? So this is six thousand newton, and similarly, this Ax is six thousand newtons. Now we will take start from solving this joint D, right? So let's say that the force in AD member is acting in this direction. Let's assume that it is acting in this direction, and the force in CD member is acting in this direction. Let's say, so this is CD force and this is AD force, right? So now uh, we can solve this joint d by applying the summation of forces along y so now if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then this cd has two components right so the cd has one component in this direction right and similarly it has one component in this direction right so if, if we apply the summation of forces along y so then this one is the sine component right so we can say that cd Sine of 45 degree, the angle is given, right? So this is CD sine of 45 minus, and this is acting in the positive y, right? So this plus and minus 3000 newton, and this will be equal to zero. Or so then this CD is equal to 3000 divided by sine of 45 degree. So then this CT approximately comes out to be 
newton right and now uh, as we can see that this cd is acting away from this joint d so we can say that this is the tension force right this will elongate the cd member right so this cd force this direction of force is on, acting on this joint so this cd this force is the force of the member on this joint d so as a reaction this joint d will apply the force in the opposite direction right so that will elongate this cd member similarly we can find the ad force by applying the summation of forces along x equals to zero so the summation of forces along x equal to zero so as we can see that this ad force is acting in the positive direction so i will write ad and similarly the component of this cd is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus and this is cd cos of 45 so now we know cd which is 4240 cos of 45 degree so when we and this is equal to zero so when we solve this so ad comes out to be 3000 newtons right and as we can see that this ad force is acting towards the joint so this means that this is the compressive force right so it will this force will decrease the length of the ad member so now we know cd and ad so since this force CD is acting away from the joint, so at this point C, this will be acting in the opposite direction, right? So now at this joint C, we again, uh, we have one known and two unknowns, right? So now let's say that this AC force is acting in this direction and let's say that this BC force is acting in this direction, right? So if we solve joint C, and if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so then we have uh, the component of this this cd force right let me draw this uh, these three forces here right so let me say that this is cd force let's say that this is cd and then let's say that this is ac force right? let's say this is cd and this is ac and let's say that the bc force is acting in this direction so this ac force will have two components right so let's say that the one component is in this direction right and we know that this bc is making 45 degrees right here right so this is 45 degree so this angle is also 45 degree so this ac will have uh, one another component in this direction as well right? so it will have one component in this direction and similarly this cd will have two components so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction as well right and as we can see that this uh, CD is making 45 degree with the horizontal so this means that this angle is also 45 degrees so this angle is also 45 degrees so now if we apply the summation of forces along X and this is CD so then this will be CD cos of 45 degree and this component is again this is AC sine of 45 degrees Right, so if we apply the summation of forces along x, so this CD cos of 45 is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write this is CD cos of, and we know CD magnitude, right? So we can write that this is 4240 cos of 45 degrees, and then uh, this is also acting in the positive x. So I will write plus AC uh, sine of 45, and this is sine. And as we can see that this BC is acting in the negative x direction. So you will write minus BC equals to 0. So in this equation, we have two unknowns, right? So we do not know AC and we do not know BC. So for that, we will apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0. We know this CD, right? So this is 4, 2, 4, 0. So now if you apply the summation of forces along Y, so then as we can see that this 
this component of CD is acting in the negative Y so we can write this is minus and this is 4 to 4 0 and this is the sine component right so we can say that this is sine of 45 right and this component is acting in the positive y direction and this is the cos component of this AC so I will write plus AC cos of 45 degrees so we have only these two components right so this will be equal to 0 so AC cos of 45 will be equal to 4 to 4 0 sine of 45 and cos of 45 and sine of 45 have this the same value right so AC comes out to be 4 2 4 0 newtons right and as we can see that the AC force is acting in this direction towards the joint so this means that this will be compressive force So now as you people can see that uh, in this method when we apply the summation of forces along x and the summation of forces along y we have to resolve all the forces or some of the forces right so it takes some time to solve a particular joint by using this method right so as I have told you people that we can solve uh, a particular joint whenever we have three forces so we have to consider the direction of these three forces in such a way so that they should make a closed triangle right since this joint C is in equilibrium so whenever this joint C is in equilibrium so the summation of forces uh, of these three forces should be zero or we can say that by head to tail rule they should give us a zero resultant right so now if 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 I find if I try to find this AC by using the method of the triangle right so we can make a closed triangle from these three forces again so if if this is that cd force let's say and if if this is my ac force right this is ac force and this bc force is horizontal right so we need to draw that horizontal so let's say that this is that bc right so this is cd this is ac and this is bc Right, I am comparing both the methods, right? So you people will understand that which method to apply, which method to apply, and which method is easy to apply, right? So this is C D, and we know this C D which is 4240. And if I draw a horizontal line here, so this C D is making 45 degrees, so this is 45 degree, and if this is 45, so then this is also 45 degree, and as we can see that AC is making 45 degrees with BC as well right so this angle is 45 as well so if this is 45 and if this is 45 so then this comes out to be uh, 90 degree so as we can see that this is right angle triangle this AC is the cos component of this BC and this CD is the sine component of this BC if we consider this 45 degree angle right so we can say that this BC if we consider this 45 degree and if this is right angle triangle so then the magnitude of this CD is the sine component of this BC so we can say that BC sine of 45 degree is equal to CD right and since we know the magnitude of CD so this is 4 2 4 0 so then BC is 4 2 4 0 divided by sine of 45 degree and similarly we can find this AC if we consider this 45 degree angle so then this AC is the cos component of this BC so I can write that AC is equal to BC cos of 45 degrees so now when we solve this equation so this comes out to be 6000 Newton and when we put this 6000 Newton in this equation so AC comes out to be 4240 Newton right so in this method uh, this method is easier compared uh, com in comparison to this method right so in from by using this method we found this ac and then we will substitute this ac in this equation and then we will solve this equation for bc and here we can solve directly by using these two equations right so now it's up to you that if you people are if you people want to use this triangle method and if you people want to use this method right this triangle method is only applicable to that joint where we have only three forces right so now uh, from this we can say that BC is 6 
thousand newton and since this is the direction of that uh, bc force this is away from the joint so this means that this is the tension force and now this ac force is uh, acting towards the joint so this means that this is the compressive force right now to find a b member force we will solve this joint b so if i write joint b let's say that this is my joint b so as we can see that this bc force at this joint b will be acting in the opposite direction and as we can let's say that the a b force is acting in this direction let's assume that this is the direction of a b force this is a b this is bc and this is 6000 newton reaction force and we know uh, this by force which is 3000 right we have determined this so this is 3000 newton so now if I draw the free body diagram, so we have three forces, one force in this direction, vertically upward, right, then there is one another force in this direction, then there is one another force in this direction, and there is one another force in the downward direction. So this is BC, which is 6000 Newton, and this is 6000 Newton, and this BY is 3000 newton and this a b force is unknown so now from this diagram if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero and so this b y is acting in the positive y direction and this a b is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus a b plus 3000 newton equals to zero so this means that a b is equal to 3000 newton right and since this AB is acting away from the joint, so this means that this is the tension force. So now we know uh, the forces in all the members of uh, this truss, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.